the even and odd integers are familiar concepts to us. However, in this particular video, what we're going to do is we're going to try to define exactly what we mean by the even and odd integers. We're going to try to have the most precise and formal and rigorous definition of these concepts that we can have. And the idea is this. When we're trying to make claims about mathematics, and when we're trying to prove claims in mathematics, we need to have a high degree of precision. And simply saying we understand what even numbers are, they're numbers like 2, 4, 6, 8, and saying that we understand what odd numbers like 3, 5, 7, and 9 are is insufficient. We need to use incredibly precise ideas for what these concepts actually are. Now, when I look at this informal definition, there's a sort of existential nature to it. When we say that an integer, say, n, can be written as twice something, really what we're saying is that there exists, this existential claim, there exists some other integer k where the n can be written as twice it. So if I want to take this informal definition and make it into a formal one, I might write something like this. I would say that n is an integer if there exists another integer k. So, so there exists a k in the integers that has the property that the n is twice k. Now, why do I like this formal definition so much? It's because now there's actually an equation here, n equals 2k. And I know something about what k is, k is an integer. So if I want to make a proof that involves the even integers, now I can actually substitute it in. I can write equations. I have a precise way of writing what I mean when I talk about an even integer. Okay, same story but for the odd integers. Well, okay, what's an odd integer? Informally, odd integers are the integers that are just not even. As in, if, if 2, 4, 6, 8 are even integers, then the other ones, the, the 1, 3, 5, 7s, those are the odd integers. Okay, that, that's not bad. You are allowed to define something as being not some other thing. Okay, but let's try to be a little bit more precise about this. If I take, say, 6, we said that was even because it was twice an integer. But what about 7? So 7 is odd, but... What I notice about 7 is that it's twice an integer, twice 3, plus 1. So all of the odd integers can really be written as twice an integer plus 1. So I'm going to use that as my formal definition. Again, it's an existential claim. I'm saying there exists a k in the integers such that your odd integer n can be written as twice k plus 1. And now again, I have a precise formal definition of what I mean by odd integers. There's an equation here. I can substitute that equation into other equations, and I can use these definitions to make proofs about the even and odd integers. And indeed, in the next video, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do our first proof, and I'm going to use these definitions of even and odd in the proof that I'm going to do in the next video.